one of the things that I wanted to bring up to your attention that's very fresh and very new uh, is an old issue. Uh, it deals with the smells that you may have smelled uh, from the Shawsheen River. I'm not sure if any of you have have walked by there, especially during the summer. That's when it seems to be more foul than others. Uh, but this, the problem there has been going on for several years. Uh, the EPA, the Federal Environmental Protection Agency, is now involved and is requiring the city of Lawrence to uh, find out why there seems to be raw sewage going into the Shawshank River right near the South Lawrence East School. So you may have seen some trucks. If you're in the area by the old Kane School, you may have seen some trucks that were there. Uh, they were doing some work this week. Uh, the work consisted of putting into the sewer pipes small, a small camera to try to find, and with a camera, try to f uh, find where there are any kind of fissures, or any kind of openings that may pr provide some evidence as to maybe sewer going into this and then flowing out into this uh, pipe that goes into the, into the, um, into the Shaw Sheen. Uh, what I just talked to the individual tonight, that's uh, the city contractor, and they told me that they were able to find a few of uh, locations uh, between Osgood and Phillips Street that that there were some. Now, what they need to do is match what they found with the actual locations. So this is a this may not sound challenging to you, but if you think about how widespread the area is. I mean, they thought they found problems at the old Bagel Boy and Kentucky Fried Chicken last year, but, and that was a problem, but that wasn't the only problem. So there's a lot of pipes underground, and we, we, we t sometimes don't know that or think about it, but there could be a lot of different places where this problem emanates from. So, uh, so they're going to start a plan to deal with addressing this. And again, EPA is on, our, is on the city to make sure that, that the city does it. And the city, I think, has been working in good faith to try to find it. It not, hasn't been very satisfactory because we still smell it and we still and then kids are, are playing in that area. We don't want kids to be playing when you got that kind of stuff floating around. So I talked to the gentleman tonight. And uh, I've asked him if he was willing to come to this meeting, if it's okay with you. I do need to talk to the DPW director just to make sure because the city is, you know, it's, it's, he is reporting to the DPW director. But um, we'll, I'll make the request if it's all right, if you find that of interest. And then he could talk most specifically about what, they've, what they found, what's going on, uh, and plans to maybe deal with this issue. So... Uh, it really does impact our neighborhood here, and so I thought that was very timely, and, and if that's all right, I'll follow through on that. The outfall is actually right behind the South Lawrence East School in that, in that area right there, so it's behind Shawshank Road. I wouldn't classify it as deadly from the folks that I've talked to, uh, but clearly, I mean, if you're going in there and you're exposing yourself and you're drinking the water and you're whatever, it's, it's not sanitary. You will get sick. You shouldn't do that, and we... Yeah, it, 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 it right now, it's not a good place to be. Deadly might be an overreaction, but you should not go there, and we need to get that thing taken care of, which is what this discussion is all about, trying to figure out a way to, to find the solution. There were new pipes that were put there last year that corrected some of the problem, but here's the complexity of the issue. There are so many pipes. It went all the way down to Bagel Boy in Kentucky Fried Chicken, but they found stuff over there, all the way down to the South Lawrence East School, and... and all those places in between. It could come from any individual homeowner's property that goes into the main sewer. I mean, think about how many different pipes are, if you think about the main street, right, any street, and then get the main sewer pipe going in there, and you got connections going to each one of those. Think of how many houses are connected. There's a lot of potential places that this could be happening. So it's a very challenging uh, situation. The town of Belmont is a perfect example of a city that's wealthy, that's got the same issue, and they're spending millions of dollars. And they still can't find the problem in the town of Belmont. And so I'm hopeful that we're successful here. Hopefully what they found in the last two or three days is going to solve that. Um, but I'm a realistic to know that that might not be everything, but it, may be, it, may be, it will certainly reduce what's going in there. But it's a, it's a, it's a tough problem. I didn't know that. It's good information that the cane actually had problems years ago. And maybe that's part of the reason why that was one of the first places that they went to start looking for that because of that historical reference.